solar eclipse. When you hear that, you're probably just as pumped up as I am, and you know you're gonna get some awesome photos coming up on Monday of this eclipse. But before that, I wanna talk about some safety tips because what you're putting at risk is your camera gear and your eye, and I don't wanna see you guys melt your eyeballs out of your skull or ruin thousands of dollars worth of your camera gear by shooting this eclipse on Monday. So let's talk about some safety tips and some planning tips. So I got five tips for you guys today on how to shoot the Eclipse, and make sure you stay tuned. At the end of the video, we're gonna go out with this Nikon um, 400 millimeter 2.8, and we're gonna go out and shoot the sun, and I'm gonna show you just what happens um, to your camera gear and your eyeballs if you decide to shoot directly at the sun. So, let's get to those tips. Tip number one is to be safe. That's the most important thing. You don't wanna risk thousands of dollars in equipment, or more importantly, your own eyesight for just maybe one shot. And then what happens when that shot's out of focus because you melted your eyes right out of your skull. So be safe. If you don't have a solar filter already, the Eclipse is on Monday. See if you can pick one up for your from your local camera store. They're most likely already sold out. So think about what you're shooting. And like I said, pointing your lens directly at the sun without a solar filter is really dangerous. There's only about two and a half minutes if you're located in the area of totality when the moon is going to be directly in front of the sun and you will be able to safely look at it and shoot it. But unless you're there in that small area, you guys are going to have to be really careful. Don't hurt yourself or your camera gear shooting this eclipse. Tip number two is to know your eclipse. Do some research. It's really quick on Google. Check out NASA. Their website's awesome. Know your eclipse. Know where it's going to be. Like I said, there's going to be an area of totality. That means the sun is going to be directly behind the moon, and that's where it's going to line up perfectly, and you'll be safe to shoot it. Tip number three, I'm kind of rolling into it off the last one, pre-plan. Make sure you have all your gear. This is a once-in-a-lifetime event, and if you don't bring all your gear with you and you forget a lens at home, you have about two and a half minutes where that moon is gonna be directly in front of the sun and you don't wanna miss it. So make sure your bag is packed, your batteries are charged, and you have cards in your camera. Be prepared. So tip number four is to think differently. You're gonna have millions of people across the United States they are gonna be shooting the exact same photo, whether it's with their DSLR or their phones. So think differently, think outside the box. Everybody's gonna be shooting that way, but what's going on this way behind you, behind the eclipse, people's reactions, that human element, that reaction to the eclipse is just gonna be awesome. Take pictures of people taking pictures of the eclipse. Those are gonna be awesome as well. When that giant shadow comes across all of these photographers, that's gonna be an awesome photo. And also think about, like I said, the shadows. When you have that, uh, the moon going in front of the sun, that is going to be replicated in all of the circular um, bits of light that you're going to see. They're all going to look like little baby eclipses. So think abstract, think outside the box, and be different and be creative when you're shooting. And lastly, make sure you guys are sharing your images after the eclipse. The official eclipse hashtag is Eclipse2017. I'm going to have it written right up here. And also make sure you guys, like I said, are sharing your images, whether it's on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Flickr. NASA is going to have an official Eclipse Flickr page. So make sure you guys are uploading and sharing to that and make sure that everyone is seeing your awesome images. All right, so those are my tips. And like I said, I saved the best for last. Let's take out my Nikon D810 and this 400 millimeter F2.8. And let's see exactly what would happen to your eyesight or your camera sensor if you decide to shoot directly at the sun and your lens is not protected. Let's go outside. All right, so we're out here. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. It's about when the eclipse is gonna be where I'm at. And I'm gonna show you exactly what happens to your eyeballs and your camera sensor if you decide to shoot directly at the sun. So I have a little sticky note. I'm gonna draw a little eyeball on it. There we go. This is going to be your eyeball when you decide to shoot directly at the sun with a telephoto lens. Let's see what happens.
All right, everybody, that's it for this episode. Make sure, number one, you guys are being safe. I don't wanna see this happen to your eyeballs, your camera sensor, or your lens, because that can get damaged too. Make sure you guys are using hashtag Eclipse 2017, because that's where I'm gonna be able to see all the awesome images you guys are shooting, and so will everybody else. And make sure, if you like this video, subscribe down below, give it a like, give it a share, and I will see you guys on the other side. And until then, get out and go shoot eclipses.